guys. So uh, something's going up with my game. <laughs> I think I've been sitting down in the sun too long, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modded Survival. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the Bronto stomping his way around. Also, are you even moving? He's just stuck in my mantis over there. Ooh. <laughs> Not that I can really take advantage of that in any way, shape, or form. But look at this eyesight. Uh, we're going to fix this up. We're going to do something about this. It is it is nasty. I don't like looking at it. And I doubt you guys as well either do. English is struggling to come out of my mouth properly right now. Anyways, let's just fast travel to our own bed. I'm hoping this just fixes the problem <laughs> in an instant. Oh, no. I've still got it. I've still got it. Um, okay. This is less than ideal. How do you get rid of heat stroke? I'm 60% heat stroke. Oh, it's, it's going down. If I just go and sit in water for... I actually have no idea, guys. I have no idea how to get rid of heat stroke. I've never had to do this before. This is terrible. Do I just go die to something? Do I legit just go... You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try that. Let's just... Um, yeah, uh, travel. Uh, transfer. Transfer everything. Transfer everything we got. And uh, let's go choose somebody to kill us. I can't even run fast because this heat wave is wiping me out. Man, if I don't, had I known that we're going to get heat stroke day after day down here, I might have gone and lived somewhere else. I might need to go and live somewhere else. That might need to be something we look into doing soon. But for now, let me go and commit death by stompage. Bronto, do you want to do the honors, mate? <laughs> Except I don't think this is going to fix our problem. I have a really bad feeling that we are stuck like this. But um, let's find out. That looks much better. Oh, that looks so much better. All right, we're good. We're good. We've, we've fixed our problem. Now I'm stuck on a tree. Yep, I placed a second bed in my base, as you guys can see. And um, now it needs... To... Okay, well, we're going to chop this tree down, I suppose. I really liked that as a little ornament in the corner of the room, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Now, what are we doing today, you might be wondering. Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, now that we have ourselves this Triceratops, we can obviously harvest ourselves an absolute all right raptor just chill out buddy we can get ourselves a truckload of berries which after yesterday is going to stop 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 just wait 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 just wait a second mate just wait a second after yes did, uh, why did i come out here i i'm so I, okay i don't even know what's going through my brain anymore i came here to collect my items after telling myself in my head to then <laughs> Not go and collect the items of the parasol where we just dropped our items. Also, I'm trying to remove my stuff, but I guess this is stuck for the next three hours. Lovely. Fantastic. Okay. Well, let's go and get our stuff back for a start. But now that we have this trike, now that we're level 35, we can basically craft up an absolute truckload of, well, not so much a truckload, but endless amounts, once we get the resources required, of blue, uh, blue arrows, which are fantastic for tranquilizing dinosaurs. In fact, they do 4,000 um, torpor, which is great. Uh, who did I leave my stuff on? <laughs> Was it you? Yes. Okay. I'm like all over the shop. Oh, no. The heat stroke thing really like took me for a turn. And really confused me for a minute there, but it's all good. It's all good. That's right. We are on mental tools now, aren't we? I don't need any of this stuff right here. Let's get our armor back on. That stuff's going to come in super duper handily. And uh, yeah, let, let's see what we can do. So as I said, these blue arrows, they do 4,000 torpor. And what they're going to... Why am I typing in blue? It's, it, it's the color blue. They're not called blue arrows. That's what I'm calling them because I don't know what they're called. Strong pugnacia arrows, I believe. And we can craft 16 of them. Let's do some quick math right here. 16 times 4 is... It is 64. See that? That was pretty quick. I should be able to do that a lot quicker than I just did. But 64. We can do a 64,000 torpor with the amount of arrows that we've got. Now, it's a good amount, but it's not even enough to knock out some of the stronger dinosaurs. Um, uh, we're going to need a lot of narco berries to make that happen. I still need to adjust our config files. Once we do that... Uh, we'll be able to get a lot more berries per bush from our trike here. Um, every time we throw a level into melee damage, for example, it's really going to scale things up quite a bit. As you can see, we're only getting like berries 10 at a time. But once we go and fix the setting that for some reason, I guess I broke at some point, uh, we should be getting, you know, hundreds of berries at a time. It's going to be really, really useful like that. Uh, but for now, I guess we just got to do what we got to do. Use what we've got. And uh, yeah, so... What do you say? I think we leave the base. I think we head out on an adventure. I think we go and find something to tame. I already got my eyesight on a few things, so let's go and do it, guys. Before we head out, if you do enjoy it, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Now, if you caught yesterday's video, you might already know who I'm a little bit interested in. Uh, I'm going to bring my raptor with me today. I just want to make sure I got some prime meat with me. Um, also, let me just... Uh, I'm going to blur the screen, okay? Don't look. 
You guys can't see a thing. I want to see what level I'm going to be to get a saddle for this thing that I want to tame up. Um, I've got a little ways to go, but we do have one wild level, so that's nice. Cool. Um, all right. Oh, hide, hide. Can't, not showing you anything, but let me see what saddles we actually have available to us. I've got my... my I've, I've, I've got a few things in mind, things that I might target. Also, wyvern saddles at level 25? Maybe we just go for a wyvern at some point. That might actually not be a terrible idea. Um, Iguanodon, that's another one I'm actually interested in, especially the glacial ones because they can turn seeds into the vegetables, which is a pretty good feature. Um, dirty saddles, direwolf saddles, ankylos, saber tooths, um, and pteranodons. Oh, we just unlocked a pteranodon saddle at level 38. That's rather late, isn't it? Anyways, um, I, I think I've got a good idea of where we're going and what we're doing. So let's go and do this thing. A few of the guys we're going to be targeting. Also, I really got to get my farm finished, don't I? Is 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 my, is my poor buddy? Yep, he's, he's maintaining the farm. Farm eating Miola down there. I should put some clothes on him. I should put a little farm suit on him. I could give him my cloth gear that we're not using anymore. He can look over the farm for me. Anyways, a lot of the dinosaurs that I am going to be looking for, uh, we know that they spawn around the area, so we shouldn't have too much trouble finding some of these guys. Uh, a few of them we did encounter yesterday. One in particular really got my attention. You may know him. You may remember. He is, of course, the Kano. The Kano excited me quite a bit because his headbutt attack actually deals torpor, which means I won't need to then craft up lots of arrows anymore. Also, we got, we got another stash of eggs over here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I don't even know if there's anything to do with these eggs, but now we've got 41 of them and my raptor's getting mighty heavy. Uh, so let's have a little bit of a squish. Let's have a bit of a bit of a peek around the plains up here just to see what's around. I'm pretty sure I should get a pteranodon is what I should do, but nah, we'll just, we'll just leave it for the time being. I'm kind of enjoying just running around the way we have been. It's kind of nice, but there is a couple of Allosauruses and a, a, oh. What is that? Why does that look funky? What? What? What is that? A juvenile megalosaurus. It's a baby megalosaurus. What level I got to be to get a saddle on one of those things? I don't actually. That's a megalosaurus. I think we're gonna be like probably 52. All right, we're not ready to get one of them just yet though. But I was looking at this Kano over here. He has lightning abilities. Is a tumultuous. He's level 650. That's pretty much max level. And look at him. Look at the torpor. Hold well on. Ready? Bam. Like one and a half thousand to two thousand torpor per bite. He should come out on top of this. I might. I'm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 He's electrocuting me. <laughs> Maybe we just focus on a regular Kano for now. But that is actually interesting. I might actually. I might actually. I don't know. We'll see how we go in regards to that guy over there. Um. I just noticed this guy here down here too. I wonder if I could take on a primal track. There's another one over there. There's another one down there. Okay, well, look, what I'm really looking for, though, is an Iguanodon. At least around this area, if I can find one of these Glacial Iguanodons, it'd be fantastic. We'll be able to actually get some kibble and stuff going, which would be lovely. Also, there is a purple supply drop that I'm launching myself at accidentally. Didn't mean to just jump off a cliff, but here we are. Um, there's a lot of things we don't mean to do, but we end up doing anyways. All right, I'm just going to... Let's, let's, let's have a look at what's inside, eh? Let's see what we get. Yep, kibble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. That's, yeah, cool. Fantastic. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too special. Something is firing tech bullets around the place. You! What is that? What is this? That is a deviant T-Rex with 50,000 health. It is wrecking the place apart. Is that a baby Allosaurus next to it? That is. Oh, you little cutie. And then you got whatever this guy here is. He's some tribe leader. He's got... 40,000 health. He's got some little friends, some little minions running around him. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll ignore them for the time being. Today, I'm looking for some stuff to tame, not terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we got half the raptors on this map coming for us. All right. Uh, yep. Nope. Yep. Thank you very much. We're just gonna, just gonna head up here. <gasps> There's the Iguanodon. There's the Iguanodon. There's the Iguanodon. That's literally what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I lost the raptors. Otherwise, they're gonna come over and fight him got a glow bug over here um where is he there he is that's what i'm looking for this guy right here uh glacial iguanodon as you can see by his um man this guy's so far from base he's a really high level too i really don't need that high of a level but this thing's gonna take so long to tame up i only need to hit it with like three arrows though which is pretty good but then i gotta get it back to base ah uh, is it gonna hurt me can i bowler it 
I mean, it's not a giant dinosaur. It's possible. I can't. Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, you can bowler it. All right, headshot. Bam. 4,000 torpor. Or just under. Not bad. A little bit of freeze there, but it's all good. All right, fine. I'm happy to spend like five-ish arrows on you. Or am I? I'm going to switch up to... I should really just be using my regular arrows for this because we don't need to be wasting our strong ones on a bowler dinosaur. In fact, that was a really silly idea. Okay, let's just hope he doesn't wake up while I get these last few arrows off. And is that it? Oh, great. Okay, go to sleep. <laughs> hey, wait, no, wait, 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 what? Okay, you better be asleep. I even put the last shot on you. Go, go back to sleep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. A little mini heart attack there, but we got the job done. Unfortunately, our dude here requires 189 major berries, which I've got plenty of. But, you know, the more major berries, the longer it's going to take to tame up. Which means, yeah, well, we have to wait for it to eat 200 berries, basically. And that's, yeah, it's not ideal, but what are you going to do? In fact, I wonder if... I'm going to put some levels into movement speed, right? I think I got a way that we can speed things up just a little bit. I mean, I do have a way, but I was just wondering how fast I can run back to base because I got to run back to base to achieve this way. So with two extra levels of movement speed, this guy moves at the actual speed of light. This is ridiculous. Um, also, what is that? What in the world is that? What? A tribe mammoth? All right, for one, who killed you? Two... Oh, there's someone... This Oh, okay then. Bro, there were two people on there. There were two people riding that mammoth. Whoa. I I wasn't gonna kill it. I wasn't gonna Oh fine. Okay, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Also, hey, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, there's so many things I want to tame up today. Alright, alright. Mission one, step one. Let's just let's just get back to base. Can I make it? Oh, close, but not quite. A little bit of fall damage, but nothing. Nothing too bad. Um, okay, you are scaring me, buddy. I need you out of my base. Yep. This is why I didn't put any levels into my Raptor. This is why I didn't want to level up his speeds because I knew he was going to start moving at the speed of light and become super hard to control. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? So now that we've got all of our berries, this is what I was going for, right? Uh, we can technically, surely, just I'd go absolute ham. Oh, no. I'm going to need more of these. But surely, yeah, we can get like a ton of stimulants. I'm just going to need more narco berries because obviously we just spent them all on tranks. Um, okay, well, while those, those are all crafting, let's go and get some narcotics. And the reason we're doing this is because we are going to craft up some, I think they're called ghrelin tonics. Ghrelin tonics are the green ones. Basically, they wipe out the hunger bar on, your on, on a dinosaur you're trying to tame. I'm sure you guys know this by now. I just repeat it in case, uh, you know, you've missed a couple episodes or you don't know what we're talking about. And they basically uh, make him make your dinosaurs chow down on all their food at once, which is awesome. It's really, really helpful for a speedy tame. And, uh, you know, I don't really trust my di my tames out there in the wild on their own. It's, you know, inevitable that eventually they are going to yeah, encounter something that you don't really want them to. Someone's going to have it. I mean, there's literally a pack of raptors out there that I should be very scared about. I just attacked this Bronto. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, at least I got him away from my bed. Did you just see what I saw, guys? Did you did you just see? Did you just I think okay, I think I lost the Bronto for a start. Did you just see what is right outside of my base though? Ah you telling me. You telling me I didn't need to go and you know what? We're going to ignore that other glacial pteranodon. In fact, wait, let's have a look. How, how, how far along has he tamed up? He's 15%. Do we bother with him? There is one right here. There is literally one right here. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, that was an absolutely atrocious bowler right there. I'm going to take this guy. He's like a local. He's from our hometown. We may, <laughs> we may as well, right? Uh, this one is, is literally a higher level too. Like, there, there's no reason not to. Um, let's put one more of those in. And then I'm going to switch up because there's no point wasting another bluey. And we'll just put one last little green fella into your face. And you can go to sleep. Or not. Okay, now you can go to sleep. There you go. All right, cool. Uh, well, that is great. I, uh, I, I can't believe that. I can't believe I just ran all the way out there for no reason. And then we even knocked it out. I wasted arrows on it for absolutely no reason. But what are you going to do? 
Anyways, let's see if we've got enough berries now to craft up a stack of these fellas. Spoiled meat? I'm out of spoiled meat of all things. Um, okay, please, one of you guys have like a stack of meat that's close to spoiling. Oh, come on. you got so many stacks of meat here, but none of them are close to spoiling. Now, be like, why would you have meat? You don't even, you don't even harvest meat. Uh, Mantis, have you killed any dinosaurs recently? No. Um, who else have we got? We got that bird thing over here, but there's no way he's got any meat. He can't even attack. He's literally a dancing bird. He doesn't, doesn't do anything. He is the most useless thing I have. All right. How about you? I don't even have, I don't even have meat in my fridge. For real? Wait, did I have spoiled meat in there? No. What did I do with all my spoiled meat? I swear I had some. I know what we did with it. We turned it into... We turned it into arrows. All right. It is what it is. We're going to grab a stack of these and I'm going to go split all of them. We I need to wait eight minutes. That was the dumbest idea I think I've ever done. Uh, wow. Why did I do that? That was silly. Eight minutes. That's going to take. All right. Fine. Well, um, what? okay. Let's find out what we actually need to make this happen. One of these. Don't even need the narcotics. Never mind. All I need is 50 spark powder. Let's get that spark powder and we'll be as good as gold. I'm just going to quickly do that so we can restack all of our meat into one piece. And once these here are crafted up, okay, we can get our little tonic and we can go and get our little guanadon. Nice. All right. Cool. 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 Raptor, you could probably get me there the quickest because you literally move the speed of light now. And this should be very, very cool. In fact... It may even get us more narco berries. We'll see how things go. Anyways, um, take those, take that. Bam, there you go. Food bar is wiped out. And now we just need to play the waiting game, I suppose. Yeah, that's all. Oh, hello, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you very much for your uh, that friendliness. I don't know. Anyways, cool. Well, now we've got two iguanodons currently taming up. One of them is he's literally 30% of the way there. It, it honestly probably would have been quicker to just go with that one there. But oh well, it is what it is. What are you going to do at this point? The question is though, do we turn our attention now to... Well, I guess what we were initially kind of turning our attention towards. A Kano. I don't really care if we get the electric Kano or a regular Kano. I'd almost prefer a regular Kano because they kind of look cooler. But because we wasted most of our arrows, we now need to go and replenish our supplies a little bit. Which is all good, but honestly... I, you know what? Maybe we should focus on the Kano in the first place. <laughs> in saying that, we don't actually have enough uh, levels for a saddle anyway. So it probably wouldn't have made a difference. The Kano will be... We're pretty much future-proofing, though, by getting ourselves a Kano. Basically, it's going to mean that once we do reach, like, level 55, which isn't that far away, we'll be able to just knock absolutely anything we like out and no more tranks for a little while at least. Just for a little while at least, because then eventually we are going to get... Oh, wow. I'm I'm heavy. That's why I'm not moving. Look at all this fiber we had. Wow. Uh, I'm going to keep the seeds, because obviously that's the entire... Can you go away? That's the entire reason that we're getting our iguanodon currently. So we won't drop any of those. But my dude here is sacked to the brim with berries. So we are just going to collect this last little bit. I'm thinking if we get... Uh, if we get enough for 10 arrows, we should be good. I feel like that'll be enough to make like a good... A good crack at a Kano, at least. So, uh, we're pretty heavy again. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much fiber. All right, let's just hold on to 10,000. That would do. You know what? If I can just keep 10,000 of each berry, I think that'll be a nice amount. Also, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother fighting anything. My, my trike here isn't a fighter. He's not here to fight. He's just here to collect berries and break some rocks occasionally from time to time. So, get the berries. Get them home. Let's get these things crafted up. And we're going to go get ourselves a Kano. Or at least try to. Probably fail. We'll probably fail. Let's be honest. We're pretty good at failing. <gasps> it just occurred to me. I don't have a spoiling bin. But that's fine. We might actually... Yes. We have a meat spoiler. <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember which mod this... I think this is part of the Bug Nation mod. I'm pretty sure. But, okay. This is what I should have used earlier as well when we were looking for spoiled meat. But I guess I just forgot about it. We will just chuck this right next to our fridge. And what this here does... Eels, we can move a stack of raw meat into it. Just like a thousand. Shouldn't need any more than that anytime soon. Uh, must contain spark powder as well. Well, let's get some of that as well, shall we? And a second. There we go. Let's just grab all of that and light her up. And I don't know how quick. It's pretty quick. Cool. I thought I could hear some music. But I think it was like a flapping wing. It must have been... 
I don't know if there was a Tyranodon outside of our base or something. I swear I could hear something. Anyways, though, let's grab ourselves some more of these. We should at least have what it takes to get some. So let's have a look. Ah, uh, three. <laughs> oh, we got 11 total, actually. That's actually not bad. We can do a 44,000 top ball. That's going to be a good... We, we could definitely find a Kano for under that amount. So that's, that's a good start. Um, but if we can grab some more, that'd be great. There we go. That's another one. So it's basically five is it five spoiled meat per arrow i think so well i guess we just wait which isn't the end of the world at the end of the day now is it let's um okay this guy here is cranking along all right 70 percent of the way there and just to remind myself i could get a saddle all right let's let's craft ourselves an iguanodon saddle while we have a second Igu nope do i craft it on myself Ig igua iguanodon there we go okay so, uh, should, we go, should we just go chuck at seeds now? That way it, like, starts it already. We got 90 Narco Berry seeds as well, so I assume they'll be turned into fruits, but I don't actually know. Basically, this thing's like a walking, talking... <laughs> I guess I won't be talking, but it's basically like a walking, breathing farm. That's that's the whole purpose of this thing. So, yeah, it should be fun. Okay, let me see. Can we get some more of these bad boys? All right, that's going to be enough. 17, 18 times 4, 36, 72,000 torpor, roughly. About 70,000 torpor we can do. So all we got to do is find a Kano under that amount, and we should be a golden. Um, I don't know why I'm running down here to do this right now, but here we are. <laughs> Let's just go and transfer all of these across so I don't forget about it. Hopefully he doesn't die before he's ready to come out with us. And fantastic. Okay, cool. Let's do this thing. It's Kano Tame in time, or at least attempted Kano Tame in time. I would, it would not surprise me if we fail at this. In fact, I just thought of a way we can maximize our potentials in succeeding at this. Have we yet unlocked the harpoon? No. Wait, is it crafted in here? The harp? No. What? Why, why, how strong are we going to be to get a harpoon launcher? 43 and a net at 43. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll put that on the back burner for now. If that's the case, that's fine. That is fine. Once we get that there, we'll be able to just like sink a net around anything. And uh, that'll be cool. What do you do again? Has frost breath. West is a fridge. Okay, cool. Well, I don't really need a fridge right now because I've got a spark bin. So we are just fine. Let's go and zip all Zippy the Raptor across the world. Let's see if we can find a Raptor. It's quick as possible. I know if it, not a Raptor. I can't, oh, why do I always make this mistake? I always make that wrong turn and end up diving back down into the beach. But let's see what we got over here, hey? We are, we're running so darn fast. It's ridiculous. But let's have a look. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Hopefully, we don't have to go too far. And hopefully, torpidity dealing will no longer be a problem of ours. At first glance, though, not, not a lot of, of carnage around, which is a bit disappointing. Um, maybe I gotta go back the other way, perhaps. I don't know, but we'll just keep on running it. Hey, if we don't find a Kano, maybe we'll find something else that's kind of interesting. It just gets me. I should have brought another one of those green tonics with us. But, uh, yeah, I guess I forgot. Dang. All right, let's run it up a little bit. Run it up the mountainside. Surely, not normally the further inland you head, the more chances of, like, carnivorous activity you will find, but so far, there is absolutely nothing in this entire area, which is not ideal. Also, oh, my God, Iguanodon tamed, so that's cool. All right. All right. All right. Well, there's actually nothing around here. I've... There... <laughs> okay. We still got the voice following us around. i got to work out who does that, but... um, Yeah, I haven't seen a single living thing in this entire area. Is this like an add-on area that just dinosaurs forgot to spawn in or something? I have no clue, but I, I guess we can we'll run down here. All right, we'll run down here. Uh, we got a defender unit. We've got... Ooh, a griffin. Ooh, a griffin would be super cool right now. We've also got that. With some resources. Don't really need those right now. Uh, we've got Godzilla out here on the wild as well, so we've got to be careful of him. I don't think we're ready to be dealing with all Godzilla. Godzilla, the king of the monsters. Um, but, man, this place is barren. Did Godzilla, like, just eat everything or something? Oh, we got Spinos. We got Sarko. We got a Beaver Dam down there. Okay, well, none of those guys are really going to help us out right this second. Um, okay, where are all the dinosaurs at? Did somebody run a dino wipe and not tell me or something? 
This is actually really weird. I've I've never I've never run this far and found so many so few wild dinosaurs. This is bizarre. Okay, like for real. Is there anything alive in this world? Or is is has legit everything like despawned? Because you can tell me everything's despawned right now, and I would 100 percent believe you because we're not finding anything. Maybe down here. Alright, there's definitely dinosaurs down here, so that's nice, but I don't know how frequent Kano's spawn. Speaking of... Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I was wrong. I see a Kano. It's a level 604. 37th. I can knock it out. I can knock it out. I can knock it out. Um, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do exactly that. He... I don't know how much meat it needs. How much meat do you need? 26. All right, we actually got to be careful here because as you know, he deals torpor, which means he will knock me and my raptor here out if given the opportunity to. So we're going to make sure that does not happen. No, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to die. You can't survive that. I guess you can. Was that just an ordinary crab? Or was that a... I thought that was a primal crab. I don't know. Either ways. Come on, buddy. Come on. Just follow me over to a rock and then we can, uh, we can, we can talk business. In fact, I don't even need to do that. Maybe I'll just lure you into water and then shoot an arrow at you. It's actually not a terrible idea. In fact, thing is, if I run up here, I'm sure he can too. He's still chasing us? He lost interest. Of course he did. Oh, look, mate. All I got to do is hit you with how many arrows? Ten. Ten arrows. That's all I got to do. Then you got to eat a bunch of meat that I feed you. And that'll be that. So let's just get the show started. Let's just rock and roll all over this guy. Look, this is actually not bad. I don't even know what he's trying to fight right now. I'm not going to knock it out, knock him out while he's fighting, but it doesn't matter. This, this is good. This is somehow working out. Okay, okay, good, good. Ah, gosh, okay. Good, but not good. I don't know. There's an Allosaurus over there, but we are in a pretty... Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on just a second. Hold on. We got a Raptor pack. That's one down. Oh, man, we had such a... Oh, come on. Come on, Raptor. Just die. Okay, I do not want to get nibbled on by the Kano, but I will invite the Kano to fight the Raptor for me. That would be nice. But this is like a sweet spot to do a tame too, because there's like just not a lot around. Actually, this spot over here, look at this. I can actually see what I'm doing over here, so that's nice. All right, hold on. Let me just spin it. Oop. Okay, hold on. I can't get an arrow into my crossbow in time. Okay, and bam. Okay. Oh, 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 careful. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Okay, we're lucky we are like ultra fast. Otherwise, things might be a little different. Um, that raptor, unfortunately, is going to be completely healed up too now because I'm sitting on him and not doing anything about him. Wow. Okay, Carnos can just run up mountains. So can I, though. Can I run high enough, though? Not bad. He's totally going to corner me. Yep. <laughs> All right. I think the plan here is going to be I need to knock him out. There's a massive health bar over there. I don't know what that is. I need to knock him out, and then we're going to deal with the raptor afterwards right now this is a little bit tedious a little bit tedious to separate the two of them all right that's got to be it that's it that's the one nice 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 and now it's your turn now it is your turn oh 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 oh, oh. there we go there we go there we go all right let's get you taken care of mate in fact i might even just feed your meat to this carno straight into his mouth we'll see how we go anyways Oh, actually, you might have some prime. You do. Nice. All right, cool. Well, let's get it in there. 82 pieces. You don't need that many. You only need 26. You know what? I'll keep the leftovers just in case. You can have like 30. There we go. Cool. All right. Fantastic. There we have it. Nicely done. We finally knocked out a Kano. And he ain't no ordinary low-level Kano either. He is a 604. And what is that? That... Is Siren Head? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, then. With a casual 12 million health. Uh, okay. And then, and then, okay. I don't know what's up with these RGs, by the way. They're kind of just flying. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay, then. Well, that was an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that to creep up on me from behind, but fantastic. Awesome. Lovely. Love it to bits. Great. All right. Well, now we're on a rescue mission. All right. Let's go, Raptor. Numero duo. Numero two. Let's go. Um, I don't even know where we got to go. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Kano. Why is he only eating a few pieces of meat? I actually 
I'm gonna I'm gonna kill an extra few seconds here really quickly because now that I know that there is a wild T-Rex roaming around where I'm trying to tame up a Kano, I think it may be in our best interest to get distracted for a sec. I can't. I, oh, yes, I can. I can do narcotics now. We are going to speed up this with a tonic. It's going to allow our dude over there to craft up, summon up, tame up a little bit quicker. Um, but what am I missing? I think I'm pretty sure I've got, pretty sure I've got most of these. I need, yeah, we got those, we got those, and I need spark powder. All right, let's get spark powder going as well. Oh, wow, they can both craft or not? I don't know, but well, we're good. All right, we've got everything that we need. We're going to get one of these. We're going to feed it to him. He's going to eat all of his food really, really quickly, and we are hopefully all going to survive and get home in one piece. Four pieces, technically. will be two raptors, Akano, and myself, but um, I don't want anyone dying. I want everybody home together as one. Let me just throw... <laughs> you ready for the fastest raptor the world's ever seen? Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I'm going this way. I'm going the wrong direction. Okay. This is actually working somehow really well. I was expecting a lot more lag. Oh, or running into more things. He says as he runs into a rock. All right. Let's just... Here we go. I know where we are now. Although we are going to have to be careful of a giant siren head with 12 million health. As we run straight past him. We're a little bit too close. A little bit too close. I don't even know if they're aggressive or not, but I'm not going to test him out. All right. I also don't know where the T-Rex went. That apparently killed us. Interesting. Was there ever a T-Rex in the first place? I don't know. But I'm going to stay on my dinosaur rather than finding out the hard way. I actually have no idea what happened to this apparent T-Rex. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Anyways, I've got this. You can have that there if you want. Now you can eat your food even faster. Nice. <laughs> well, okay, cool. Things aren't going terribly. Just a minor little hiccup. There's the T-Rex. I must have run straight past him. 70,000 health. All right, that's a little bit too much for my liking. This RG is weird. Two of them. There's two of them. They're just, just flapping on the spot. I guess it's trying to target that. Yeah, that probably makes the most sense as a matter of fact. Um, but this T-Rex has got me a little bit nervous, not going to lie. I wonder if I should tag team him with my raptor. Probably should. This guy over here, though, has me intrigued. I don't know much about the old Siren Head SCP. Also, what is that thing? <laughs> okay, there's a few things out here I've never seen before. Nice. All right, we're all together. It's time to get home. Let's do this thing. Okay, there is also something just roaming around behind him. Hold on, I just got to get all these off my screen. We've been taming a lot of dinosaurs. I just wanted to untrack them all. What is that? Oh, that's the T-Rex. Never mind. We're all good. All right. Okay. Raptor number two. Are you coming with or not, mate? Yep. He's coming. All right. Uh, I have no idea how we're going to get home, but I think I just need to run to... Wait a second. I don't even know where I live. All right. That kind of was slow. Why is he so slow? I guess I did outrun him on my Raptor, so it actually does make a little bit of sense now that I think about it. But, um... Which iguanodon? Is that the first iguanodon? Or the second one? Are we going to end up with two iguanodons? We might, to be honest. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, that raptor just got launched. Okay. Come on, buddies. Let's go. Let's go. Not often you see one of these guys uh, walking around, by the way. Also, what is with the weather? We are having a, 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 a storm. We're in the middle of a storm right now, like a hurricane or something. Interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, then, buddy. Um, kind of got a little bit distracted. I think we got to go help him. Okay, who is it? Who's fighting? Mantis. Ooh. Well, he didn't quite have it. This raptor is so fast. What is with the speed of these raptors? I'm pretty sure my settings are pretty close to, like, normal as well. So I don't know why they crank it up so hard. Um, bizarre. Bizarre is the only word I can really think of. Watch the raptor fly straight over my head any second. There he is. There he goes. Oh my gosh. This is fast tracking it. Speed travel and straight to base. I love it. Also, now I've left my Kano behind because everybody was moving so damn fast. Um, ooh. What have we got here? Nothing. Oh, that's my old dead body, apparently. Okay. Uh, where's my Kano? Oh, you're ahead of me. The, the poor guy had to, like, run back to us because we were taking too long. All right. Well, I don't know what is going on with this weather, but right now, all I want to do is get us all home in one piece before I don't know, a hurricane comes through and tears us all to pieces. 
I don't know where home... Yes, I do know where home is. Home is just down here. Awesome! We're pretty much home then. Um, There's no way my Kano is keeping up with that. We are moving too fast once again. So I need to go back and collect him. Or do I? No, I don't. He's right on our tail. Fantastic. I get the feeling though I'm going to have to go back and find my second raptor. That guy there is just getting himself lost all over the shop. But nope. He's actually made it in one piece as well. Nice. All right. Well... The full squad has made it home. Kind of. They're just getting stuck on trees and stuff, but that's fine and dandy. Um, I'm just going to park everybody right here because good luck getting them all in, in an organized fashion with all their crazy speeds and stuff. One thing I want to do, though, is run down here and check out our glacial iguanodon, who we can't forget about. Sure, Kanu's might be more exciting, but that's fine. Also, okay, I'm just looking at his inventory. Nothing's turned to seeds just yet. So I don't know if there's like a button I got to press to do it. Let's just press a few buttons to see what happens. That. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what that particle effect was, but it wasn't turning our stuff into seeds. So I guess I'm going to have to look into how. Oh, here we go. Convert seeds to fruit. Hey, it actually worked. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we got vegetables now. So that's that's great. Guys, we're going to end this one right here. This weather is not enjoyable one bit, but we've come home with two quite valuable friends today. If you did enjoy the video, wow, so dark. Please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups, but most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.